we want to find f of x if y equals f of x satisfies the differential equation eight y times y prime equals x and y of four equals five. For the first step, let's write y prime as dy dx. So we can write the given differential equation as eight y times dy dx equals x. We can solve this differential equation using the method of separation of variables because the given differential equation fits this form here, meaning we can write the equation in the form where we have a function of y times dy on one side and a function of x times dx on the other side. Once we have the equation in this form, we can integrate both sides of the equation and then solve for y. So looking at our equation, let's multiply both sides by dx, which would give us eight y dy equals x dx. And now we'll integrate both sides of the equation. The integral of eight y with respect to y would be eight times y squared divided by two. We would have plus a constant of integration, but we're gonna save that for the right side and combine the two constants. So we'll have equals, the integral of x with respect to x would be x squared divided by two, and we'll say plus c sub one, where again c sub one includes the constant from the left and from the right. So simplifying, we have four y squared equals, I'll write this as one half x to the second plus c sub one. Now let's go ahead and solve this for y squared by multiplying both sides of the equation by one fourth. So we'd have y squared equals, we have one eighth x to the second plus one fourth times c sub one. Let's let c equal one fourth times c sub one. So we can just write plus c. And now if we square root both sides of the equation to solve for y, we would have y equals plus or minus the square root of one eighth x to the second plus c. But notice how we're also told that y of four equals five, which means when x is positive four, the y value is only positive five, not negative five, which means for this problem, we don't need the plus or minus the square root, it's going to be just the principal square root or the positive square root. And we should also recognize that in this form, this would not be a function because it would not pass the vertical line test and we are told y is a function. So knowing that y is a function and that y of four equals five, meaning when x is four, y is only positive five, in our case we have y equals the square root of one eighth x to the second plus c. So this would be the general solution to the given differential equation, but because we're also told y of four equals five, we can use this initial condition to find what's called the particular solution. So if we know our function must be in the form of y equals the square root of one eighth x to the second plus c, and we also know y of four equals five, meaning our function contains the point four comma five, we can substitute four for x, five for y, and solve for c, the constant. And this will give us our particular solution. So if y is five, we'd have five equals the square root of one eighth times four squared plus c. Well, four squared is 16. 16 times one eighth is two. So we have five equals the square root of two plus c. So to solve for c, we'll now square both sides of the equation. So we have 25 equals two plus c, and therefore c equals 23. Which means our particular solution is y or f of x equals the square root of one eighth x to the second plus 23. I hope you found this helpful.